the fall of 2012, five citizens were appointed to an Arts Advisory Committee by the Battle Lake City Council, and thus began the long process of planning how the community wanted to implement a streetscape project. The result? Battle Lake is now one of only six communities across Minnesota to receive the designation of being an Arts Legacy City. A few days prior to the project's dedication, we met with Reba Gilliand, one of the committee members. The beginning of the project was actually had to do with the Highway 78 reconstruction. About that time, somebody said, hey, wait a minute, we're going to have all new sidewalks, so let's have public art on those sidewalks. And simultaneously, we had learned about the local government grant that LROC had, the uh, city needed to appoint an art advisory committee that would decide what this project was going to be. We came up with the themes. We decided that uh, we wanted local artists involved, and we wanted it to be a whole community-wide project. We knew that Annette Holkstein, who was a local mosaic artist, had led other community-wide mosaic projects, and we knew she'd be great. So we asked her if she would be willing to take part in this. Artist Annette Hoekstein worked with many volunteers, creating beautiful mosaics to grace the new benches and planters along Battle Lake's new sidewalks. We found her working across the street. Today I'm sealing the edges of the mosaics that we placed in the backrests of the benches. And this is my final step in this process. We started in July of last year and it took eight and a half months. When we started, it was so hot outside, and when we finished, the snow was melting for the next summer. Can you tell us about the designs used in these mosaics? The three themes that we were working on were agriculture, natural resources, and recreation. And we included a winter recreation, too, because there's a lot of that around in this area. And we tried to focus on elements that are local. For instance, we included an, a bald eagle and loons and cattails and herons and all of the different wildlife that we see if you just take a walk out in the woods or by a stream. In recreation, we included ice skating, sailing, summer, winter biking. You know, we tried to encompass the four seasons here in Battle Lake. First we were at the school for a while, and then when school started we had to move to a different place. It was a house on Summit Street. We were in the garage, but then eventually it got too cold to be in the garage, so then we had to move, pick up everything and move it into the house. Fortunately, we had tables and a nice work spot, and that's where we worked the rest of the winter. Not just artists, but other people too from the community, people who had never had any experience whatsoever with mosaics and then people who had very little experience or interest in art. But the funny thing is that some of those people are the ones that stuck with us the longest because they really enjoyed it. And they enjoyed the camaraderie and um, it was a really good experience. And one of my greatest joys of this whole thing was to see people and hear people say that they went out and they looked at things now because they were working on one and they had to see how it looked. Like they would say, you know, I, I realize now what silos look like and different silos have different designs on them. And the same with barns and different things that we worked on. People, it really opened the participants' eyes to the world around them and that was very rewarding. And then we uh, asked Paul Boyum, who's a metal artist, if he would be willing to do artistic bike racks. I've been kind of doing metal sculpture and making things out of metal all my life. I started welding when I was probably 12 years old. Um, about eight years ago, I got a product that uh, went really well on a national level and, and quit what I was doing before, and I'm, I'm fully into metal work, metal sculpture. I do mostly smaller items that are a little lower priced, easier to easier to sell, easier for people to buy and own. I do make I do make large pieces um, on commission. All of my work involves uh, a certain amount of recycled materials. The things I make repetitively are the cactus. When I was thinking about going to Phoenix and rattlesnakes uh, and whatever else comes along, 
bike racks are on four different themes, some, some a family and then a set of corn stalks, some fishing poles and some cattails. The, the sculptures for the planters are a great blue heron and a, and a bunch of cattails. And I'm really excited about the way the new downtown Battle Lake is going to look. Now we have 20 mosaic panels that took eight and a half months to complete. We had 133 people working on them, 1,971 person hours. And that was just on the mosaic part. Well, we had three volunteers who started working on building the planters and the benches. And they had a very small cardboard model to work from. And from that, they built the most beautiful benches and planters upon which the mosaics are placed. And then toward the end, when it took uh, the concrete pouring, they had another crew out there, again, volunteers, who poured all the concrete and who did all the ceiling and everything. So it really shows how a community can come together and leverage the opportunity like the Lake Region Arts Council grant and the Highway 78 project into something that the whole community can take pride in for decades and decades to come.